Moving on, the very popular annual Tel Aviv Marathon usually attracts tens of thousands of participants from around the globe. But this year, of course, in light of the ongoing pandemic, event planners had to get innovative and find a way to make it more COVID friendly. Their solution, running together separately. Here to explain is Dean Binnis, head of digital communications at Tel Aviv Global, which is planning this year's race. Dean, thank you so much for being with us. Now, how will the Tel Aviv Marathon happen this year and what brought this innovative idea to fruition? So we thought how to include the international runners who is coming to Israel every year from abroad. And we're thinking that the marathon this year is virtually and via digital app. So we have come to a conclusion to, for the participants that this year they can participate from all over the world. I mean, they can download the app and run in their hometown. It could be Paris, it could be Rome, Wherever they live, they can run in the city they live in. So that's, this is very special. That's incredible. So what can you tell us about this app, you know, for the participants? How does it work? Uh, and, and, you know, did you get this idea out of the blue, sort of? Or, or were you inspired by any other race that does this? Uh, we know that there are several marathons worldwide that um, use a, an app, a digital app for the runners. But I don't really know if... They're including um, runners from abroad. And here um, particip we have participants from 33 countries, from Europe, from the US, and even the Emirates. Um, people are going to participate and run the marathon, the full marathon or other uh, routes like the 5K kilometers and the 10 kilometers. They can choose um, the route they want to run. And the app actually is showing them with the GPS um, where to run in their hometown. I mean, if they chose the 41 kilometers, for example, they can run in their hometown the 41 kilometers and the app shows them where, where to run. And also they can um, uh, listen to music, to playlists they want. Um, which, is, which, is a pretty big, uh, which is a pretty big plus. But now yeah. I understand that there's actually a special challenge for those abroad who register uh, and participate in the marathon. What can you tell us about that? Yeah, so for this challenge, they have to, of course, participate in the race and take a video or a picture of themselves and send it to us. Uh, we want to see their creative side. I mean, they, can, they don't have to picture themselves while running, but they can uh, take a video from their um, trainings or like from the unboxing thing because they're receiving the kit for the runner's kit that every participant gets. Um, so we want to see the most creative, um, exciting videos. Um, and the person who will win the first prize will be able to join us on the 2022 marathon in Tel Aviv. He will oh. win uh, two flight tickets and an entry to the next marathon. So this is very, very exciting. Uh, now, I guess my last thing, you know, how can people register to participate in this year's marathon? So they should enter the website, the marathon website, um, register for the marathon, get the kit, and then they can email us. All the details are in the website. Um, they can email us the video or the photo of themselves, and they can participate in the challenge. All right. Dean, thank you so much for breaking this down for us. I'm sure that there are a lot of people who are itching to run and, and to participate in this race. Thank you again. Thank you so much.